In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make great looking thumbnails using free software that can be done on your computer or on your phone. And if there's one thing I hate, it is super long intros. So let's just skip this, get right into the content. Now for this tutorial, we're going to be using the software called Canva. You can go to canva.com or you can download the Canva app. And there is a pro version of this. You don't have to purchase it. It does come with some features that will help you make better thumbnails. But for this, you can use it completely free. No watermarks or anything like that, which is one of the reasons I love it. And that's what we're going to do. So right when you log into Canva, you'll be presented here. You'll be able to choose what you want to create. Uh, I've got YouTube thumbnail right here. Otherwise, you can always just search for it under more. Uh, I'm just going to click on YouTube thumbnail and it is going to open up the design software. Now to get started, let's go over a few of the different options that we have here. Uh, on the far left side, we have the design tab and in here you'll find a whole bunch of thumbnail templates that you can use and be able to customize to your liking. Now, while it is nice that Canva has some templates to help you out, I highly discourage you from using them. And the main reason being is that they are not using the best practices for getting viewers to click on your videos. And that's what we want for our thumbnail. We want to persuade viewers to click on our videos and actually watch them. And like, just to give you an example here, here's one of the templates Canva gives you. They have a subscribe button on the thumbnail. Like no one can subscribe to your channel from a thumbnail, nor would you just subscribe to a random stranger whose thumbnail appears on your YouTube screen. So like that's useless, useless info. Uh, your business name is useless. Your website is useless. Like we don't want to send people to our website. We want them to click on our videos. So a lot of these are just designed by graphic designers and not by actual YouTubers who are trying to get people to click on their videos. Now, because these do suck, and I also understand the appeal of using templates because you want to be able to make a thumbnail fast and get videos out, I went ahead and I made thumbnail templates for you that you can use in Canva and you can actually get them for completely free. So I made all of these backgrounds that you can easily just start off with a nice background and then add different elements in. I also made proper templates here with myself here, as you can see, where you can literally just delete me uh, from the thumbnail, add yourself in, change the text, like completely customizable. And I also went ahead and made a thumbnail guide to help you make more clickable thumbnails. You can actually get all of these for free. Uh, all you gotta do is just go through the link in the description, enter your email in, and I'll send those over to you. But just as a general rule, skip the design tab. Do not use any of these templates in here. Moving on from the design tab, you have the elements section. And here you'll find different shapes you can add and graphics and stickers. This is actually really good for thumbnails. There's a lot of great things in here to really customize and really make your thumbnail stand out. Then we have the text section where you can easily click to add text to your thumbnail, just like that. You have the uploads section. And this is where you're gonna upload your photos that you wanna use for your thumbnail. So I've got like one here that we'll be using a bit later for thumbnails. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll find photos, which you might be able to use as a background photo or something like that. And then also backgrounds, which Canva does have a few free backgrounds just already built in. And with that, let's just get started making our thumbnail. So first, we're gonna head over to the upload section here, and I'm just gonna add the photo of myself in. So I'm gonna click on that, it's gonna add it in. And then with this selected, you'll see that there's little dots on either side of the photo here. I can just grab those with my mouse, or with your finger if you're on mobile, and I can drag this to make myself bigger, and then I can move myself over to the side here. And for my thumbnails, I like to have myself up close, and usually you want your head to have just a little bit of space above it uh, for your thumbnail. You don't want there to be a giant gap. It just looks better. And there we go, our photos added. Now I can actually click on this and there'll be a whole bunch of settings that now appear over the top here. So I can change the position of it. I can crop it down. Um, you can also click edit. This is gonna up, uh, enter into some of the photo settings here. So if I go to like adjust, I can actually inside of here adjust the brightness. I can make this brighter or darker. Uh, I can adjust the contrast. Uh, I can make it uh, more saturated if I wanted to make it more colorful and really show my rosacea off. So a lot of cool adjustments you can do in here. And then also under the photo edit, you'll see things like adding shadow, adding blur to an image. You'll find a bunch of different effects in here for your photo. And if you were looking to remove the background from your photo, unfortunately, this is a paid tool for Canva. So if you are on a free budget, you won't be able to remove the background, but there is a something called Adobe Background Remover. You can just Google this 
and click right here, free image background remover. We just click on that. And then you can actually upload your photo here and Adobe will remove the background for free. You can then download the photo and then re-upload it into Canva. So it takes a little bit longer, but you can get that background removed. Uh, for me, I do have the paid version of Canva, so I can just click background removal if I want. And that is going to remove the background from my photo. And that looks great. Um, and then I'm gonna actually go over to my backgrounds here and I'm gonna grab uh, one of these nice backgrounds and copy and paste it into my thumbnail. So I'm gonna click on this purple one here. I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna copy it by clicking Command C on my Mac or you can click Control C on PC. Hop over here and then click Command V or Control V on your keyboard and that'll paste that right in. And then I'm gonna click Position and I'm gonna click backward to move it back behind the photo of me. And there we go. Now I've got this nice background here. And then one last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on my photo of myself and I might actually crop this a bit, even though the background's removed, I'm still gonna crop it. So I'm not accidentally clicking on this later. And then I'm gonna click edit and I'm going to add some shadow behind me to make sure I really pop out from that background. We'll click on that. We'll just do a drop shadow. And down here, we can adjust it. So I'm gonna change, I mean, the angle doesn't matter much to me. It's more of the distance here. Find a bit of that, add some more blur. And it will like, you see how I'm moving away? I'll have to adjust that in a second, but we'll do that. And we'll change the intensity. Looking good, awesome, X out of that. And now I'm gonna increase the size of this again. You always wanna make sure there's just that little bit of space above your head. Perfect, that's great. Next, let's add some text in to our thumbnails. I'm gonna click text, click add heading, and there's that. I'm gonna drag this over here. And as you can see, just like with the photo, all our settings are up here. So if the black text, probably wanna make it white, you know, nine times out of 10, you probably wanna use white text for your thumbnail. And then I'm also going to change the font because I want it to be a nice bold font that's really easy to read. So I'm gonna click over here and I like the Poppins font. So I'm gonna use the bold Poppins. It's a good bold font. And I'm gonna do all caps and write my thumbnail here. So maybe I'll write thumbnail. And then what I like to do is for each word, I'll click on the text and then I'll duplicate and then drag this down. So each word I control and we'll do tutorial. And then for each of these, I can just increase the size here by clicking on them and dragging. And I'm gonna line it down here like this because I'm probably gonna put like a little graphic or an image above here. Um, and then also with this text selected, I'm gonna head over to effects and I'm gonna add some shadow or some lift to make sure my white text really stands out. So we'll do a uh, lift. And I'll put a nice shadow behind it. Same with this one, we'll do another lift. And there we go, that's looking great. And then let's add a graphic in. So we'll go over to elements here. And I'm just gonna search like thumbnail and click enter. We're gonna go through the graphics here and see, you know, I can find something good here. I kind of like this graphic here. So I'm just gonna click on that. We'll add that in. And then we will move this text down some more so we have room for that. And there we go. That's looking pretty good for our thirst thumbnail. Now, something you'll also probably want to do is make a few different versions of your thumbnail because sometimes the first thumbnail you make might be good, but the second or third one you make is the best one and it's gonna get you the most clicks on your video, which is gonna result in the most views for you. So what I like to do is I'll click this button here, which is to duplicate the page. So I can click that and it'll make a copy of my thumbnail. And now I can make adjustments to this to maybe make this look a little bit better. So maybe I'll delete this graphic and we'll put this up a bit higher. We'll increase the size, bring this one here and also increase the size. And maybe to help this out a bit, I'm gonna click on this, duplicate, and I'll add instead down here, 2025 let people know that this is a 2025 tutorial. And then I'll select all this and bring it down a little bit. I'll adjust myself a little here. And there we go. We have another variation for our thumbnail. Now, obviously these are just the basics of thumbnail design. So if you really wanna take your thumbnail design to the next level, I have two options for you. First, we have the technical side where I'll teach you some more skills for making really good thumbnails, but then also the psychological side and how to actually persuade viewers to click on your thumbnails. So depending which you want to learn, both of these are gonna help you really take your thumbnails to the next level. Hope to see you guys at either one of these.